क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ डेटा द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ डेटा द फॉलोइंग बैक टू बैक स्टेम एंड लीव डायग्राम रिप्रेजेंट्स द मंथली सैलरीज इन डॉलर्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेवन एम्प्लॉयज एट ईच ऑफ द टू कंपनीज ए एंड बी दिस डायग्राम इज फॉर कंपनी ए this diagram uh, this these are this this data is for company b and this data is for company a these are two companies in each company there are 27 employees and the salaries are in dollars back to back stem plot is given in the question stem is common for both companies 25 26 27 28 29 30 these are the values for stem these are the leaves for company b these are the leaves for company a and key is also given that is 1/27/6 mean 1/27 it represents 2710 dollar for company a and here the key is uh, given in combined for uh, combined form for both companies a and b i am separating it next uh, for company b 20 Seven slash six shows two seven six zero dollars. This is given. He has given for both companies A and B. Part A of this question is <coughs> find the median and interquartile range of the monthly salaries of the employees in company A. we have to find median and interquartile range for monthly monthly salaries of employees in company a to find interquartile range we have to find uh, the lower quartile and upper quartile then we will subtract to find interquartile range so first we will find the median this is a process to find the median median value uh, is the uh, 50% through the data to find median we will make a process Uh, median 50% through the data mean uh, median value will be 1 over 2 into n plus 1th value where n is the number of observations number of observations mean in this question num uh, there are 27 employees this mean that n in this question is 27 we put here 27 we get 1 over 2 27 plus 128 mean a 14th value so so 14th value will be the median 14th value will be the median so for company a this is the first value second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth 10th 11th 12 13 and 14 so this is the median uh, this is the median this is a, actually this is the center of the uh, distribution 50% through the data this value is according to the key for company a 
this indicated value will be 2710 so, so we have found the median value for a that is Uh, we are representing median uh, Q by Q2 that is 2710. Now we have to find uh, lower quartile. Lower quartile will be the 25% through the data. So, so it is very easy to find uh, Q1. This value, this mid value, actually this is the mid, mid, mid value of the distribution. This uh, value divides the uh, data into two equal halves. This is the uh, first half. This is the second half. We again find the median for the first half. We are find to find the lower quartile. We will find again the median of the first half of the distribution. Now there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There are 13 values in the first half. So to find lower quartile, to find lower quartile, Again, we are using the same process 1 over 2 n plus 1 value, 13 plus 1, 14, 14 divided by 2, 7th value will be the median of the first half, 7th value of the distribution, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, this is the, this value is the Median of the first half, we will represent it by this different color. This blue indicated value represents the lower quartile, that is, according to the key, this value is. One slash twenty six, that means two six one zero. So we found uh, the lower quartile 2610 dollars now the upper quartile in the same way upper quartile will be the again the median of the uh, second half Then again, we will use the same process. We are finding the median again, the median of the second half 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 values 1 over 2 into 13 plus 1. Lower upper quartile will be 1 over 2, 13 plus 1 value mean a seventh value. Seventh value will be the median of the second half. So, seventh value will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We are indicating this by a different color. So, by using uh, this key. This value 4 slash 28, we get 2840, that is the upper quartile. Upper quartile is 2840. But actually, we have to find interquartile range. So, so interquartile range will be interquartile range will be q3 minus q1 putting the values q3 is 2840 minus q1 is 2610 finally we get interquartile range 
that is 230. Now next part of this question is lower quartile, median and upper quartile for company B are $2600, $2690 and $2780 respectively. Median, lower quartile, upper quartile for company A we have found already. But median, lower quartile and upper quartile for the company B is given in the question. Now draw two box and whisker plots in the single diagram to represent the information for the salaries of the employees at company A and B. We have to draw two box and whisker plots in a single diagram. Graph is given. Diagram I have already drawn this diagram. This is box and whisker diagram for in blue color, the diagram is for company A and in red color, the box, um, box and whisker diagram for company B. Uh, first of all, we will, uh, in this question, values in hundreds. These are values in hundreds, 25. I have re I represent only 25 means 2500, 2600, 2700, 2800, 2900, 1300, and 3100. And the scale I have chosen here one small scale is equal to 10 units. This is a big scale. So this is a small scale mean yes, this is small scale this is small scale these are small scale one small scale is equal to 10 units this is this is a scale choose here in this question and the values are in 100 so we have drawn first d for company a this is the lowest value this is the highest value uh, this line shows the lower quartile this shows the upper quartile and mid value mid line shows the median in the same uh, uh, way in the I have drawn the diagram for company B you can check 2500 for the lowest value for company A check it this is the lower lowest value 0 25 means 2500 0, according to the key so this is the lowest value. Highest value is for company A is 3010. So 3010. This is the value of 3010 according to the scale. In the same way, median is for company A. Median is we have found median at 2710. This is this value is 2710. Lower quartile is uh, 2610. This value is 2610, and the uh, upper quartile 2840. This value is 2840. Now we join this to make a box and extend to the lower value, lowest value, and uh, extend to this line, extend to this, uh, extend this line to highest value of the data. In the same way I have drawn the box and whisker diagram for B. This is the lowest value. You will take this lowest value from here. Lowest value is 254 mean 2540. Highest value is this that is in the diagram highest value is 30 Slash 9 means 3090. This is the value 3090. In the same way, this is a lower quartile, median, upper quartile. We join these to make a box. Extend to the lowest value. Extend this line to the highest value. This diagram is for B. 
company B and this diagram is for company A. Now at the last, uh, from the above uh, information of the distribution of the data, we have to comment something at part C, comment on whether the mean would be a more appropriate measure than the median uh, for comparing the given information for the two companies. We have to comment on whether the mean would be a more appropriate mean a measure than the median for comparing the given information for the two companies. If we find mean, how, will, how we will find the mean? Mean values is total sum of all the mm, values of company A divided by 27. We, have, we can find mean in the same way we can find the uh, mean uh, salaries of uh, um, company B by adding all these values. Uh, but uh, mean of mean values for company A and the company B because this um, uh, figure is 3090 will affect the mean of the values and will uh, affect the mean uh, uh, mean value so mean less appropriate than median by comparing we can say we can comment that mean less mean is less appropriate then median because of extreme value which I have indicated this is extreme value for company A uh, for company B Because of extreme value for company B, uh, because of this value three zero nine zero dollars. 